Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to create a lead magnet landing page. This is what you're going to be using in order to collect your leads and of course after they're done with that you can follow up with them for as long as you want. Either way I'm going to be using System in this video. I will put a link in the description below if you'd like to follow along especially for the fact that they come with a free plan so you can create quite a few landing pages for free. Let's begin. Also, before I begin, one thing to let you know, in my previous video, I showed you that in ClickBank, there's going to be plenty of offers that allow you to get free lead magnets. So in this, I'm going to be using one of these lead magnets as inspiration, as well as some of the landing pages, because they give us some good copy that we can use. So it doesn't have to be perfect, our landing page, but we can kind of make it similar just to increase our chances of having higher conversions because they know what converts the best based upon it being their offer. Let's begin. So what I want to do is create a funnel here and I'm going to do build an audience. So let's click on create. And here you're going to see a lot of different landing page templates that we can use for this. Like it doesn't have to match perfectly. I want something simple. We can either do something like this, which just shows or says like, Hey, this is what you're going to be getting. Or we can choose something that has say like an ebook with it like this. This could be perfect. Let's preview this. I've imagined it's not going to be very big. Actually, that's perfect. I'm going to use something like that. So I'm going to click on select here. So I just titled that attraction. And now what I want to do is click edit page. So keep in mind, this is just mostly going to be about editing around the squeeze page itself. I have other tutorials in case you wanted to like connect it and collect emails and so on and so forth. This will also give you a better idea of what you can expect when it comes to your landing pages or squeeze pages when you're going to be advertising a free lead magnet. So first and foremost, this is going to be our image. Let's click on this and what we can do is edit it right here. And what I did is I actually saved, uh, where is it? The landing page here, because it gave us the ebook image and I want to upload that. So I'm going to go back here and just select the file and upload it. And would you look at that? Already we have our attraction triggers ebook there, which is going to be what we give away. So let's take a look at what they have right here. So read this ebook. So read this free ebook. We could do something like that. Read this free ebook. And we have our headline and a little bit more here. So, oh, wrong one. I'll learn the predictable patterns that make men fall in love. Okay. We could do discover also. Discover the predictable. Okay. What I'm going to do is just write the rest and then skip through it. So you don't have to sit through me editing that. So read this free ebook, discover the predictable patterns that make men fall in love. Uh, and it says, what else here? A special report by James Bauer. Okay. So... We probably don't need this right here. Download your free report now. And then like here we can put enter your best email below. And for me personally, I don't like asking for the first name. I just, I believe it's ask. The more you ask, the, the less the conversions are going to be. And to better explain that, for example, if you ask for your first name, your last name, your address, your state, you know, your zip code, uh, your country, and then they ask, you know, what your goldfish's name and so on and so forth. You're obviously going to get less conversions. And although it's only one extra, I like making it as easy as possible for visitors to obviously get what they're looking for. And asking for a name just really isn't a big deal. When using autoresponders, I never use like the name tag to say like, hey, friend, or hey, whatever their name was when they put it in there. So either way, in my opinion, I just like removing the first name. This is good, obviously, if you need the name, like you're sending out, say, snail mail or physical mail, or you need an address, obviously, maybe if you're doing a webinar or something like that. But aside from those situations here, I just like doing email. And then of course, get report, we can do something like if we scroll down here, get instant access. Okay, and that's where your disclaimer is going to be and so on and so forth. And we can save changes here. We can also change around the colors. This is also going to be desktop only. But if we want to make this, you know, stand out a little bit more so it matches the ebook. Uh, let's see. Let's go over this way. Too dark. That's a little bit better, right? So if we save this. Okay, and I accidentally hit undo on a couple things. So uh, here we are back to where we were. I had to skip through there. So let's click, oops, let's highlight this, click on this, and then let's change that color. Perfect. And we can do the same thing with this just to make it match, or we can keep that red. It's really going to be up to you. I wouldn't stress too much about a lot of these things here. I'm just kind of doing the aesthetics here for you. Get instant access. 
background color. Okay. And this here as well, I know it's desktop only. You can keep that there if you like. I know it doesn't match too well, but it does at least help move the eyes over. And last but not least, what I want to do is hover over the main section here. I feel like it's, you know, it hangs down a little. I like moving that up a little more towards the top. So there you go. You can pretty much see everything right there, which is perfect. Okay. And let's preview this up. And there we go. Just like that, read this free ebook. It could also be get this free ebook. Discover the predictable patterns that make men fall in love. Download your free report now. Enter your best email below. We also have get instant access. I also forgot to change like the shadow. You notice how it's still green. Just a little minor thing, obviously, that you can, you know, quickly edit. But this is great when it comes to just ebooks overall. I don't know if you remember, it was either like this with the ebook here and the arrow pointing right, or it would have like a warning up top, like this, you know, offer will not be around for Forever and I had the arrow pointing down. These are just some of the most basic squeeze pages, uh, but don't set them aside just because of that. They work very well. It's just nowadays people love having things a little bit more, I guess you could say sexier, but whatever gets the job done, right? And it's great that you can actually utilize a lead magnet, say that you got from ClickBank or PLR, or even if it's yours, that's really going to be up to you. I did previous videos about that, about how you can create them or get them for free or have them paid from PLR to get them up and running very quickly. But all in all, that's how you can set up a lead magnet landing page using system. I will put the link down in the description in case you want to try them out for free. I also put links deeper into the description that talks about the videos when it comes to creating your own lead magnets or finding them for free on ClickBank. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.